Hi. Steve Summers and Shannon Zimmerman. This guy has no idea what a May Day basket is. We got talking about this this morning. You don't know a May Day basket. No, I know Easter, you get Easter baskets, but for May 1st, May Day, apparently you get baskets. I've been deprived all my life. I have no idea what you're talking okay, about. Okay, the thing is, I think the tradition died a little bit, but I think we should bring it back because it's super easy. Okay. And it makes people smile. What's wrong with that? So where do we start? I'll show you how easy it is. Hey, okay. Seriously, to show you how easy it is to make a May Day basket and you don't need to spend a lot of money to do it, it's a thought that counts, right? True. I stole stuff from people's drawers today. But the most important thing I see on this table, coffee. That's not part of the hey, look, project. I even have my own craft table for this. Thank you, Steve. That's cool. Oh, except it's not going to take that long, literally, because this is probably... You want to put a timer on it? Go. Probably going to take you a few minutes. All right, it did... So I've got a little template here. I printed out from Pinterest just to make things easier. So I've cut already the shape of my cone. I'm going to make a cone from this paper, right? So that's going to be the basket part. I told you. Very simple. It's a thought that counts, right? So I'm going to fold it here. Kind of fold it in half so it's going to make a cone. I, oh, I forgot to say, I've decorated it. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. My highlighters did a really great job. Mayday, mayday. Okay, so we'll fold it kind of to make a cone. I forgot a step. I want to put some uh, rubber cement on it. We are going to staple it, but I do want to glue it. So we'll put a little strip of some glue. Rubber cement, again, is what I could steal from our receptionist's desk. You can use any kind of glue you she want. Not, is she not smelling it anymore today, is she? <laughs> I guess not. It was brand new. So hopefully she doesn't mind that I opened it. All right, so got a little cone, see? Happy May Day. Not my finest work. I'm going to throw a staple in there just because. Okay, so now we have our cone. How simple. Again, if you use thicker paper, uh, I don't know what we're going to fit in here. So that's why I stole some coffee stir sticks. Because <laughs> on this template, you can print off at our website, q985online.com. There's some flowers. So I went ahead, cut them out, colored it, taped it on top of my coffee stir stick here. And basically, you'd stuff it in like this. The idea is like maybe glue a Hershey Kiss in the middle, put some candy down up in there. But So we're going to have flowers because, surprisingly, we don't have Hershey Kisses or any candy here, right? So there's our basket. One thing we need is a handle. This is the highest quality handle I've ever made. Got a handle, right? Staple it in. Such craftsmanship. Isn't it? Wouldn't you be impressed if you found this on your door? Happy May Day! 